Here in the Toshiden Theatre Collection, we'll be introducing a few short Japanese urban legends that you may or may not have otherwise heard of. So settle in and get ready for a few thrills, chills and spills as we see some of the finest Japan has to offer. Koito-san There is a mysterious figure they call Koito-san, and they say you will only see this figure twice in your lifetime. The reason for that is because the second time you see them, you will die. If you don't wish to die before your time, then you need to do whatever you can to make sure you don't run into Koito-san the first time. If you do, you will recognize them immediately, however. Koito-san will look exactly the same as you. There are omens you can look out for that signify Koito-san is near. First, all of your 5 yen coins will mysteriously disappear. Second, if you have pets, they will die within two months. Third, and most dangerous, a hole will develop in the ring finger of your left hand, from which blood will drip out. If these things happen, there is a way to avoid Koito-san. You must make sure you're never alone. When you're at home, when you're in the toilet, when you're on your way to or from work, you must never be alone. If you do happen to run into someone who looks just like you, never fear. It's not all over. Yet. But keep in mind that the next time you run into Koito-san, it will be your last. The tunnels taxis won't go through. There are three tunnels in Tokyo that all taxis are unable to go through. This is because the light on top of their cars is too large and the roof of the tunnels is too low to pass through. If so, then you might be thinking that they could just remove their lights to go through, right? But there's a reason they don't. There is a strange tunnel in Adachi Ward that whenever a taxi passes through it, always has problems. It has never been featured on the news, but sometimes taxis disappear entirely when passing through the tunnel as well. There were so many complaints and problems that the drivers decided it would be better if they never passed through there at all. As a result, they consulted with the union and they agreed to make the lights on top of the taxis bigger so they would be physically unable to pass through. Closet Roommate A woman in her 20s was enjoying single life in her apartment. Her life was a cycle of heading to work at midday and returning home in the evening. She also paid close attention to the order and cleanliness of her home. One day on her way home, the woman felt something about the placement of her furniture was odd. The TV remote was also in a different place to usual. The strangest thing of all was when she realized that the closet door was often open just slightly. She was frightened, but she decided to keep an eye on things and see what happened. One night, while she was in bed, she heard the closet door open. Unable to bear it any longer, she got out of bed and, indeed, the closet door was again slightly open. She watched the closet door the entire night, and, as the moonlight finally hid it, she clearly saw eyes within the closet, looking back at her. The woman screamed and attempted to run from the room, however, a man burst out of the closet and ran after her. He grabbed her hair, but the woman was able to escape and ran all the way to the closest police station, where she sought help. Several officers returned with her to the apartment. The man was long gone, but from inside the closet, they found a large amount of rubbish and clothes that appeared to belong to the man. One of the officers then spoke to the terrified woman. Judging by this, it would appear that the man has been living inside your closet for at least two weeks. I recommend moving right away. The question you must never ask Kokuri-san. 
Kokkuri-san is a type of spiritualism that involves calling the spirit of a fox. This fox spirit will then answer various questions for you. There are similar games, such as Cupid-san or Angel Summer. But in the case of Kokkuri-san, you use a sheet of paper with the Japanese alphabet written on it, alongside the words yes, no, numbers from 0 to 9, and a shrine gate. On top of this, you place a 10 yen coin. Everyone participating places their finger on top of the coin, summons Kokkuri-san, and then asks questions. The coin will move seemingly by itself to answer. You must not remove your finger from the coin once Kokkuri-san has been summoned, and when you are done, you must make sure to ask the spirit to leave. This game was especially popular during the 1970s, and numerous incidents arose from students playing the game, to the point where many schools banned it entirely. This is one of those stories. Two junior high students, A-san and B-san, were playing Kokkuri-san in their classroom. Kokkuri-san, Kokkuri-san, please come. Another student in the room watched them. Who does Nani Nani Kun like? When will I get a boyfriend? They asked common questions girls of their age were interested in, and of course, the other girls in the room got caught up in the excitement as well. Who are you? A san asked, and immediately the atmosphere in the room changed. The coin A san and B san had their fingers on moved haphazardly around the paper not stopping on any letters. They grew scared. The other girls watched on in amazement. Send it back, someone screamed. Please leave now, A-san said, and the coin suddenly stopped. It was stopped on no. Please, you can go now. They asked over and over, but the coin never moved from no. Scared, B-san took her finger off the coin and started crying. You can't take your finger off the coin! (gasps) You've done it now! The other girls chastised her and when A-san asked what to do, the coin moved to the letters Ka and Wa. There was a river, Kawa, near the school. Gripping the coin, A-san ran for the river the other girls hot on her tail. But she didn't know what to do once she got there. She looked around, but it looked the same as always. Should I throw it into the water? She wondered. Everyone discussed what to do when A-san suddenly felt something yank her right arm and pull her down. This invisible force tried to drag her, but the other girls grabbed her and tried to pull her back. She inched closer to the river, the victim of a terrifying tug-of-war. It burns! It burns! My right arm burns! She screamed. Drop the coin! Hurry up! The other girls screamed back. I can't open my... It burns! Asan cried, letting out a small whimper. One girl tried to force Asan's hand open but it was no use. Help me! Together, the girls managed to force A-san's hand open and then throw the coin into the water. The force dragging A-san down suddenly disappeared. The girls told her that there was nothing odd about the coin. It looked like any old 10 yen coin. But on the palm of A-san's hand, the mark of a 10 yen coin had been burned into it. Looking at the mirror at midnight. They say that if you hold a mirror facing another mirror at midnight, then you'll be able to see a ghost in the reflection. It's not just any ghost, however, but your guardian spirit. Mirrors have long held strange powers and have at times even been worshipped. Even today, Feng Shui claims that mirrors possess incredible powers 
and can reflect both good and bad energy. As the date changes, this time period also becomes a juncture for the dead. By combining their strong feelings with the power of the mirror, they say you'll be able to see the usually invisible guardian that protects you. You have only 60 seconds to do this, starting from midnight precisely. Once you see them, if you remain unafraid and concentrate your gaze, they will speak to you. You have but 60 seconds to ask them what's on your mind, whether it be about the future, your troubles, or your worries. Your guardian will answer truthfully and ease your mind. However, if you become fearful once you see your guardian, they will decide that you are not yet ready to talk to them, and they will not approach. If you have questions you need answered, why not grab some mirrors and wait for midnight to try it? So what did you think of this week's legends? Do you have any similar ones in your own country? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.